Hello everybody, welcome to Programming with Ruby, episode 18, Out Into the World. I'm Tyler, and this video is brought to you by manwithcode.com. So, in this episode, I'm going to be telling you what you can do after this series is over. Uh, I'm going to recommend to you some books, uh, show you some popular libraries, and go over a couple more things that don't really fit into their own category. So, first and foremost, in where to go from here, I would most obviously recommend writing your own programs. Uh, maybe find a problem that you need to solve and write a Ruby script to do it or maybe write some simple games you know whatever you want to do I also recommend reading some books and tutorials uh, other than the ones I have made because they offer maybe a different perspective they may go over things I haven't gone over and they help reinforce what I've taught you so for books I would recommend beginning Ruby from novice to professional and the Ruby programming language uh, I've liked those books um, there are a few more I know I got those maybe a few months to a year ago so there might be some more up-to-date books check it out amazon.com is really great if you're looking for books uh, so libraries you may find yourself trying to make something but you can't do it, do it with only what Ruby gives you so here are a couple maybe you want to do some kind of web development uh, check out Ruby on Rails, it's by far the most popular. Uh, check out Sinatra and Merb as well because I've heard they're good. If you are interested in game development, try Ruby Game, Ruby SDL, or Gosu. I personally use Ruby Game. Um, don't really like Ruby SDL, and Gosu doesn't work on my computer anymore, so I would most recommend Ruby Game, but try them all out yourself and see what you like. If you're making games, of course. If you need to test your code, check out RSpec and Cucumber. Uh, if you need to manipulate, make whatever images in Ruby, check out RMagic. Uh, there may be more libraries to work with images, but I don't know them, so try to find them yourself. If you need to make a, graph or a program with a graphical interface like most programs today, i.e. it's not run from the command line, uh, check out Ruby WX Widgets, Ruby GNOME 2, or Shoes. Uh, shoes actually I believe has more more O's in it or something but if you just google Ruby shoes you should find it I personally like Ruby GNOME 2 but it's up to you um, if you can't find something there is actually a very good chance it may already be included in Ruby so check out rubydoc.org to find it uh, otherwise you can check out rubyforge.org and github.com they have some pretty good search functions and rubyforge.org has a map of all the different programs that you can narrow down by categories really useful and if all else fails just google it um, now throughout this video it's kinda of been sounding like this is the end of the series it's not there's gonna be at least one more video after this so uh, and it should go up about the same time this video does so stay tuned would you and if you've liked these series please donate I'm making these for free most resources cost something, so you should give me some money. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can leave a comment on this page, or you can email me at tyler at mattmuthcode.com. I will get back to you. I will answer your questions. Uh, might even change some things according to your comments. You never know. So just, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.